you know, I, I ask this question to all entrepreneurs, um, anyone that comes on the pod. Is, like, what advice would you have for other people watching, you know, that may potentially want to go um, through their own entrepreneurial journey? So I have three pieces of advice, and I've thought about this a lot because I've been sharing my wisdom with like other friends who are thinking about starting companies. And the biggest one is like, listen to that voice in your head and trust your gut. Like you are going to start going out there with this idea and sharing it with like a million people and they're all going to have different opinions. Take all of them with a grain of salt, but then at the end of the day, really listen to what that voice is. What is your North Star? What would make you the most excited and the most passionate about doing this for the next 10 years? Because let's be honest, that is, what it's going to take, whether it's five years or 10 years, you're going to be working on it for a while. So like really, really thinking about that and make sure that you're trust, you're following your gut um, and trust it because it, it really does have good wisdom. The second piece of advice is like, keep it simple. Whatever like idea you have, I think even I fell into this trap is like going into creating something really complicated and convoluted and just, it just, you know, you're just really getting into your head. So just keep it simple. What is like your kind of like MVP or minimal minimum viable product that you can just start doing signal testing with. So, you know, just go out and do that and just put out ads. You just have to put a little bit of money behind it. But I think it's a lot less money than you actually like going, going out and building it first. Um, so that would be my second thing. And part of keeping it simple, don't like overthink things so much and just go for it. Like just go with that first thought that comes into your head and just try it and see how it goes. And then the last thing is ask like other founders who are two or three years ahead of you, maybe in that same industry or a different industry on their advice and their journey. It goes such a long way. And they, because they've been in your shoes, they have a lot better like advice for you. And they're actually willing to be vulnerable to share that with you. And I think that's more powerful than like, yes, I think getting an MBA is amazing and going to school and learning all this stuff, but like people learn more doing it than by just learning it in school. So I think you can actually learn a lot by just like asking people for advice. 